What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Raggedy Pack. We are getting into Season 2, Episode 6 of Breaking Bad. Uh, we just recently finished Episode 5, so it should be very fresh in our minds. Uh, the title of the last episode was Breakage, and there were a lot of things breaking. Uh, Skyler was breaking. Hank was breaking. Uh, the operation that Walt and Jesse set up was breaking. They lost a thousand bucks, which is, or maybe two thousand bucks. Yeah, this two thousand an ounce. They're yeah, making uh, twenty. Well, I guess twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred, and then, well, the guy, which would be Skinny Pete, would get five hundred, and they would each get a thousand. Right. And that's what Walt was. I think it more than the money. It's like the um. What word am I looking for here? I mean, it's just your street cred. Yeah, you can't get like punked by a dolphin like that. <laughs> held up at knife point by some junkies. So he tells Jesse to go handle it. Gives him the revolver. And, uh, you know, Jesse, he's doing a lot better now. He's moved into a little place uh, next door to the landlord. And, um... He's he's got bills to pay. He's getting them paid. He went back to Clovis to pay him and make a deal to keep the RV there, which was surprising to me because while I would consider myself like, you know, a, a pretty good person, I, I might st stay true to my word on things after like the interactions with that guy and like he kept <laughs> like kicking him out and um he pointed a shotgun at him, which was understandable because he broke in. But I, I don't know if I would have went back. Would you have gone back? Uh, uh, mm, uh, no. Um, Especially after driving the RV out of there and breaking his right gate. I, I he, he really, he he really kind of broke every sense of trust that uh, Clovis might have had left. Um. But, you know, Clovis seems like a reasonable businessman uh, who wants to make some money. And, uh, you know, he's going to make sure like he's collecting. And, you know, he kind of extorted Jesse for the parking space, but rightfully so. Um, and I think uh, he's going to he's going to make a lot of money off him, which, you know, good for him. Um, right. But I, I, if I was Jesse, I certainly would not have gone back there. No. Yeah. Um, Jesse also got a new whip from Clovis at first he, he was eyeing the uh, car that he probably would have converted into one with hydraulics again yeah. I think it was but, an El Camino yeah probably um, he would have had to pay 14000 for that one instead he got something much more modest low profile probably a lot cheaper too so that was a good decision um, you got Hank who just got this promotion he, I, I don't know, he, it seems like he's still having uh, flashbacks to Tuco. It's got him shaken. He takes a day off work, just goes to his distillery in the garage, starts yeah. making his brew. And um, yeah, we see near the end of the episode, you start hearing gunshots. He gets up, gets his gun, goes to the garage. They're not gunshots. It's actually the tops popping off the bottles. I guess he has like a defective um, device yeah. for doing that or he just didn't do it right. Not sure what caused it. Maybe I was he, deceiving. Maybe it was just like really hot in the garage. I mean, they are yeah. in uh, New Mexico, right? So temperature difference, right. pressure. I don't know. But uh, yeah, he's definitely got some things going on. Uh. And then Marie and Skylar, they had their whole thing where she said sorry. Kind of a touching moment. I mean, you're not going to see it on camera, but I, I don't know why. I feel like Skylar gave a really good performance there. Um, it kind of had me a little, little teary-eyed. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, aside from that, did I miss anything important from last episode that you wanted to discuss? No. Um... I think you hit pretty much everything. The uh, the biggest thing for me uh, that I'm interested in right now is kind of the um, blossoming uh, Captain Cook Industries thing they got going on right now. And I think that's probably my 
most intriguing storyline. And so I'm really hoping we get more of that of Jesse, quote unquote, handling it. I just want to see, you know, what, what's going on there. How are they going to expand? It's kind of like, I don't know, a little side quest, except it's the main quest on like a video game, maybe like yeah. Dying Light 2, how you're upgrading your facility or State True. of Decay 2, you're upgrading your home base. That's kind of like how I feel uh, <laughs> we're going oh, dude, right now. State of Decay and like the junkies that uh, took the ounce from Skinny P, they're like a feral yeah. zombie. Yeah. That, like <laughs> starts pounding your vehicle. Makes you right. break down and then kills one of your characters. Right. And then, yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I'm enjoying uh, what we got going on right now. And I'm, I'm hoping or I'm wanting to see more of it. So I'm ready to get into this bad boy. Me too. All right. We're going to get into it then. But before we do, as always, we ask if you guys could drop a like, subscribe. We really appreciate that. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date. We have links in our description to our Patreon. You can get the full length reaction there. And we have early access in the form of two and four weeks. Make sure you pick the one that suits you best. We have links to our social media, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and a Discord. You can join, come chat about Breaking Bad, other shows, uh, food, working out, um, art. Uh, we have a lot of different channels in there. Just check it out. With that being said, let's get into it. Yeah. Peekaboo. I see you. A nice shot. Oh god. Oh, ew. I don't even know what that is. Is that a beetle? I guess. Yep, Jesse's officially gross. <laughs> what up? Damn bitch. Oh thank god. I like skinny P even more. Got something for me? Yeah, yeah, found them. This is a five or an S. Five, yo? No way. <laughs> S. No? No? Yeah, five. Jesus, how the hell do you spell street wrong? S T R E A T? Hey, man, I'm slinging mad volume and fat stacking Benjis. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't be all about like spelling and shit. Hey, so they got names? Hers is like, I don't know. She's just as woman is all. Him, they call Spooge. Spooge. <laughs> not Mad Dog, not Diesel. But hey, you know, if you're looking for a reason not to go do this thing... Hey, did I say that? Because I'll go do it myself, right? It's just... I'm on probation and all. Yeah. He's on probation, but he's... slinging mad volume, stacking Benjis. Yeah. Psh Guess he wanted to get high before he did it. Probably do the drugs after. Just to make sure I had a clear mind. But what do I know? I've neither killed someone nor done meth. Fair point. Peekaboo. Where's my money? Where's my? Why should be like a kid or something? Where's my money? Where's my money, bitch? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Where's my money? Do not mess with me. I will bury you because I'm crazy. Yo, yeah, mucho loco. <laughs> Do not test me. What? Good morning. Good morning. Honey, you black in the mailbox. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Like it's gonna be a nice day, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. High 70s. You have a great day. <laughs> right on, you too. Right on. Okay. It's getting real. Oh. Oh. oh shit. Hello. This is gross. What's up? Oh, I was right. right. Come on, man, put the cartoons on. 
It's watching infomercials. What's your name? <laughs> My name's uh Diesel. Hmm. Diesel. Nice. Yo, don't you want to watch something other than this? Like, I don't know, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Ah, it's the only channel. He's the one who needs a new TV, not Jesse. True. Your dad, Mr. Spooge, when he's uh, getting back. Mr. Spooge? I'm hungry. Hi, Walt and Skyler. This is Gretchen Schwartz calling to say hello. I'm just hoping that everything's okay. Call me. If you can, whenever's convenient. Uh oh. Hello. Oh hi, Gretchen. This is Skylar White. Am I catching you at a bad time? I um uh, I can't begin to thank you and Elliot for what you've done. Mm. Um, the money for. Is she gonna cover or is she gonna fold? Just. <laughs> it saved us. I I I don't know if I uh. Well, keep saying, don't don't bother them. You know, it's no big deal, but it is a big deal. Yeah, to me. So I just finally wanted to say thank you. Confusion. Mm. Anyway, end of speech. <laughs> so I do, I hope we get to see you soon. Truly, um, anytime you're in town, anytime at all is good for us. How about this afternoon? Uh, yeah, okay. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Monolithic At least you didn't fold it on the phone. Die olefins. True. Just keep in mind that one element. Carbon. I guess my question about him teaching was Carbon a little is at the one episode too early. <laughs> yeah. There is no life without carbon. Carmen is carbon. <laughs> Sorry. Catchy. Principal Carmen. <laughs> I like to think that the the diamond. I feel like this is like his original cooking shirt. Are both formed from the same stuff. Looks like it. Or it's a little darker green. And the man who invented it, H. Tracy Hall. Write this name down. Write that down. Write that down. Doctor <laughs> Hall invented the first reproducible process for making synthetic diamonds. You want to know how GE rewarded Doctor Hall a ten dollar U.S. savings bond? Travesty. Anyway, a savings bond printed on carbon based paper paid to a carbon based man for something he made out of carbon. So nice to have you back with us, Walt. Well, You're looking great, by the way. <laughs> a little skinnier. And then there's the hair thing. I actually like that. Oh. That's a great look for you. Oh, the Rizzler? <laughs> Principal Riz? <laughs> feeling good? See you tomorrow, Flynn. See you, Jeffrey. <laughs> I'm buck naked. <laughs> I'm missing my pants. That's hilarious. <laughs> Is that a mayonnaise sandwich? Looks like it. It's gross. Ew. God. I hate mayonnaise. Yeah, not a fan either. Even, like, the sight of it, like... Sends my stomach in a polar plunge. Okay. <laughs> Jesse's such a good tough guy. His name's Diesel. Oh, I'm sorry. A freaking padlock on the door, dude. Crazy. These guys are upstanding individuals. Shut the hell up about it. You shut up. You shut up. 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 Shut
I hear the dog barking. I think it's my dog. <laughs> you know who might have done it? I have an idea. You ID him, and then together, you and I put a bag over their heads. We tie him up, <laughs> drive him way out into the desert, strip him naked, then bury them up to their necks in a huge mound of fire ants. Okay. Got a little dark there. Saw yeah. in an old western. Is this foreshadowing? Scorpions? <laughs> Scorpions are good. Uh oh. Whoa. How is he gonna get out of this one? Check it out. I don't know. Who is this? Hey, sorry I haven't called in three months and I declined your money. I've been cooking meth to pay my medical bills, though. <laughs> don't tell my wife. Very nice to meet you. Friend. Nice, nice to meet you too. Oh, uh, Walt, look who's here. Oh, Gretchen. <laughs> oh, it's nice to see you. He flipped the switch. Well, what a nice surprise. <laughs> look at you. Thank you so much for what you've done for my dad. It was a really good thing. <laughs> You're very welcome. She's covering. I'm ready to repay you. No, no, no. We, what a legend. We don't, want to, we don't want to ever hear that. Gretchen. Your purse. Oh. <laughs> oh. <Thank> you. <laughs> and, uh, Awkward you and I are welcome anytime, really. You know, what am I thinking? I should walk her to her car, really. Abrupt. <laughs> I was going to say, it's kind of abrupt. Gretchen. We need to talk. Can you not do or say anything to anyone until then? Please. Uh, Please. She already kind of did, bro. Yeah. You hit me really, really hard, man. You hit me really hard. I think I'm seeing double. You know, maybe I need to go see a. What does his shirt say? Subdural hematoma. Don't fall asleep. Shut up. Does that say 69 her? Turn him out. Oh yeah. It does. <laughs> oh nice. We shot it out. Yeah, it shot an ounce in a day and a half. Yeah. Both of you, pull it out of your butts right now, or I go grab a flashlight and some pliers and go exploring. Gross. What's it gonna be, yo? Come on! I need to take a shower just after this scene. There you go. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Uh. All right, come on, on the table. Oh. All right, there's maybe a... Dude. An eight ball here. Where's the rest of my meth? Hey, baby. Oh, come here, baby. Come here, baby. It says wine her, dine her. That's 69 hilarious. Dine her. Come on. Spooch? Is that this guy's name? Huh? Spooch. Spooch. Just boosted it, yo. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? Help me break it open. Take out the money. An get ATM. Paid. Get high. Mm hmm. Yo, that's my bank. So it's FIDC insured, yo. It's a victimless crime. <laughs> Nobody even noticed. Nobody noticed. For real. I'm telling you. Victimless crime. Bruh. Mm -hmm. I thought you told me you boosted like six of these. <laughs> yeah, boosted. It's not like you ever got one open. At least I got persistence. Don't listen to that skank. Oh, stop calling me that. It's like a GTA mission. I know. I swear to God, I will shoot you both in the face. Bro, he has a sledgehammer. Like, <laughs> you get that thing open. First, the little guy. Where's the kid? I don't think this is gonna end very well. Oh, what the hell? Did you see what I just saw? Oh. I did not see that. Who Kinda sleeps with didn't. that? <laughs> what the hell kind of mother are you? you? Give me one hit and I'll be any kind of mother that you want. Oh my god. Oh my god. This whole thing would go easier if we all had a little taste, man. So you didn't tell anyone? You didn't tell Elliot? Not yet. This entire thing was, was unfortunate. Unfortunate. And I apologize deeply. 
Thank you. Now please tell me why you did it. That's not really at issue here. <laughs> well, you told me your insurance was covering it. Was that a lie? Perhaps. If you won't take our money and your insurance isn't covering it, how are you paying for it? I will explain the whole thing to them. And while you're at it, explain it to me. I don't know you. Mm, wrong choice of words. An apology, and I have apologized. I am very sorry, Gretchen. I've apologized twice now. I'm humbly sorry. Three times. <laughs> Elliot and I offer to pay for your treatment. No strings attached. An offer which still stands, by the way. Mm -hmm. And you turn us down out of pride, whatever. And then you tell your wife that, in fact, we are paying for your treatment without our knowledge, against our will. You involve us in your lie. And you sit here and tell me that that is none of my business. Yeah. That's pretty much the size of it. <clears throat> what happened to you? Because this isn't you. What would you know about me, Gretchen? That was the Skylar question. Presumption about me be exactly that I should go begging for your charity and you waving your checkbook around like some magic wand is going to make me forget how you and Elliot, how you and Elliot cut me out. What? That can't be how you see it. It's my hard work. My research and you and Elliot make millions off it. That cannot be how you see it. Oh, God, that's beautifully done. You Boy, you are always the picture of innocence. You left me. The picture of innocence. <laughs> Just sweet. Guy in the background. Life. You left me. But you abandoned us. Me, Elliot. Little rich girl. Just adding to your millions. Mm. I feel so sorry for you, Walt. Fuck you. Oh. God. Heisenberg coming out. I'm saying. Wow. You hungry? <laughs> no. Well. Ouch. <laughs> Try it me now. Try it me now. Well, bro got zonked. Yeah, it's in a bad position now. Gretchen called about an hour ago. We need to talk. Mm -hmm. Did she fold? They're cutting off the money. Oh. She only halfway folded. What did she say exactly? Hmm. I'm sorry to have to do this, but Elliot and I can no longer continue to pay for Walt's treatment. I wish you the very best. Hmm. And that was it. She unindemnifies herself in the lie. But covers the original lie. And she sounded apologetic. Dub? Is this a dub? Yes. Sounds like I a mean, dub to it was me. Quick, she got right off the phone. I was, I was so stunned. But mm. I, I called her back, and she didn't pick up. What do you know about this? Well, I sort of told her to go, you know, um, kick rocks. She and I had a perfectly nice visit this afternoon, and then. You come home, and all of a sudden she's in a big hurry to leave, and then the two of you are talking in the driveway. What do you know that I don't? A lot. Where were you tonight? I drove up to Santa Fe. I was with Gretchen. Well, Gretchen and Elliot. They're broke. You are kidding me. Well, I mean, the economy's in the toilet. We all know that. And all these big banks and... His lies. You see the car that woman's driving? Apparently, yeah. gray matter is no more immune than anyone else. Wow. And yet, she still drives a Bentley. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> they keep up appearances. 
keeping up appearances. Oh, have, have you seen this show before? Baby, I don't like any sense. Of course it makes sense. Every safe's got its weak spot, right? <laughs> so you're designing a safe. Where are you going to put your weak spot? That's all I need is this little hit. Shut the hell up, you dumb skank. I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> I ain't no skank. Ow, what? I am trying to take the high road here. Are you gonna do right? I am on the verge here. All right, so set your skank ass pie hole and assist me and shut up. Ain't no skank. No, 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 don't, don't, no. <sighs> Ain't no skank. Did you see that coming? Oh. Uh, <laughs> that in particular, no. Spooge just got spooged. Oh my god. Get it out of the freaking blood, bro. Oh my god. Nine one one. Hey, 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 you remember Peekaboo? Huh? Can you go peek about this? Huh? Can you keep your eyes closed? You keep them closed. That's good. That's good. Dang, dude. That's crazy. Yeah. You ain't right. You have a good rest of your life, kid. Wow. Yeah, man. Uh, no, I can't say I saw that coming. Oh my god. Yeah, as soon as it transitioned to that scene and he had the um, ATM propped up on the chair, I remembered that was about to happen. <laughs> I forgot that she pushed it over on him. I thought it like fell for whatever reason, yeah. but yeah. I'm surprised that that's how he got done in. Like his head just popped, but uh, like, I, I don't know. I feel like it wouldn't have just crushed his skull, but I could be wrong. I, I, I could be completely um, off base. Yeah, I feel like with enough weight, they can definitely cause a skull fracture. Like, or multiple fractures. And then, of course, if your skull gets broken, then everything inside is going to squish out. I know that's gross, but... Yeah. Oh, so nasty. Um, so... Gretchen kind of... was the homie. Um... I really did not know. I thought she was going to cover for him, but then when Walt was like, go F yourself, I did not think she was going to cover for him. Um, so that's kind of shocking. But well, What were you going to say? Uh, I, I, I was just going to say that was the homie move. Oh yeah, she's the homie for sure. I mean, I remember you asking when we were watching season one why... Walt was so reluctant to take the money from them. And I think he got more of an explanation this episode. They really gave you the histories and lore on gray matter. Um, so basically Walt feels like he did all of the work behind gray matter, or at least a large portion right. of the work. Um, he walked out on the company and Gretchen and Elliot basically built the company and the name on his work and they made, you know, millions and millions of dollars off of it and they live the life they live and he is a high school chemistry teacher and uh, barely making it in the economy, which this is in like 2008. Isn't that around the time of the recession? Yeah, so it was, I want to say it was either 2008 or 2009. Yeah. Um, stuff, man. 
It's just, it's interesting to, you, I think you said it during the scene. Um, it was like Heisenberg really came out in that scene. Like he sort of transformed from Walt into Tuco Jr. I think you that's a better name than Heisenberg. By the look on his face, like just the yeah. way he stares at people. Yeah, for sure. And um, uh, I feel like when he was teaching his chemistry lesson and talking about the man that made like the first synthetic diamonds, did you write the name down? Did you remember? Uh, Wells Hall. It was, it was Dr. Hall. Hall. H something Hall. A- H J, something Hall. Yeah. Middle initial J. But when he was telling that lesson and saying how he was given a $10 bond, I feel like he was relating that to his own personal uh, trials and tribulations, how he basically yeah. got gypped with gray matter. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I think it was just kind of like you kind of saw Heisenberg come out there for a second, too, and then he's like, ah, let's carry on. Um, he's like, everything's but, carbon. Right. He's all happy, happy, and then he's like, yeah, and he got a $10 bond, but let's not like sleep on that $10 bond. I think depending on how it got used, if he held on to it or if he sold it immediately, whatever it was, that $10 bond could be worth a lot of money. Yeah. Depending on, of course, when he sold it. But I just want to go out and say it like confirmed. No longer a doubt in my mind. Jesse's my favorite character in the show. Mm -hmm. Um, His level of empathy is obviously uh, obnoxiously high. But I just think like he's such a funny character and to see him juggle the right thing and the wrong thing all the time is just so enjoyable. And so I, I've decided like that's my he's my favorite character. No doubt. Solid choice. We kind of got to see him. He'd be a dad this episode. I mean, more than yeah. the parents that the kid had very unfortunate life to live. Right. I kind of expected him to take the kid with him, but that would just be like, I don't, I don't know if that would be any better if I'm being honest. No, I mean, I, I think it would be better than the current situation he's oh, in, yes. but I, I get what you're saying. It's not definitely not ideal. I mean, you're going from like drug addicts to a drug dealer who is also right. part-time a drug addict. Mm-hmm. So, um, we didn't really get Hank, I don't think. Uh, Hank or Marie. And it seemed like Skylar was kind of acting a little normal. Um, less angry, that episode. So that was interesting. Yeah. But other than that, I'm, I don't think there's really anything else I want to discuss. Yeah, I think... Is there anything else you can think of? I mean, I think that was pretty much it for that episode. You got the... Walt story and the Jesse story that we kind of covered both of them. Yeah. I thought it was a really good episode. I did too. All right. Well, and that's a wrap. So let's go ahead and outro this bad boy. If you guys like that reaction, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to stay up to date. Check the Patreon. You can get the full length reaction there to this episode and every other episode. We also have early access to and for weeks. Links to our social media, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and a Discord. You can come in there, join, talk about Breaking Bad or anything else. With that being said, we'll see you guys next time.